Eight Line Sarajevo, Archduke Francis Ferdinand assassinated, and World War I begins. In Hollywood, Max Sennett and Charlie Chaplin are making America laugh. And in Japan, the first automobile in the history of that nation is being manufactured. After four years of planning, research, and development, a two-cylinder, 10-horsepower vehicle is revealed. The shipbuilding and engineering firm that is achieving this milestone will later come to be known as Isuzu. That's right, Isuzu. In Europe, Armistice Day will put an end to the war to end all wars. Jack Dempsey is knocking him out in the States. And Isuzu is manufacturing Japan's first commercial truck. Known as the A model, this utility vehicle will be the inspiration for future generations of trucks. Trucks that will help meet the demands of the world's growing industrial needs. While flappers flap and business booms, the 20s roar, and so does Isuzu. In one of the first joint ventures in the automotive industry, Isuzu begins domestic production of the British Wolseley A9, further establishing itself as Japan's premier automobile manufacturer. During the Depression, Japanese commuters read about prohibition Al Capone and Elliot Ness while riding to work on Japan's first bus. Made by, who else? Isuzu. With air brakes and forward control cab, features that are still found in vehicles 50 years later. These buses are the result of Isuzu's already impressive heritage. By the time the 40s roll around, the world is at war. The big bands are swinging and Isuzu has become a major manufacturer of heavy-duty trucks. In 1946, Isuzu is commissioned by the U.S. Army to build 4,000 6x6 trucks. In 1949, Isuzu Motors Limited is officially adopted as the company name. Isuzu is the name of a river that flows past a Japanese shrine. It means 50 bells pealing in harmony and celebration to form one unified sound symbolic of Isuzu's philosophy. And here he is the baby boom decade is a time for high hopes. Television is the latest rage. Man is reaching for the stars. Everyone is watching Elvis's pelvis, and Japan's famous Antarctic expedition is being powered by engines specially designed by Isuzu. This scientific journey into the harshest climate on the planet will contribute greatly to the success of the N-series truck. This light-duty, forward-control truck will have to survive in climates from the rainforests of Ecuador to the Arctic conditions of Iceland. The N-Series will serve over 2 million users in the next 30 years and will be the best-selling commercial vehicle in Japan for 22 years in a row. In the decade of radical change, the world sees the birth of Camelot, the rise of Khrushchev, and the blossom of flower power. While Janice, Jimmy, and the Beatles are redefining our culture, and Americans walk on the moon, Isuzu is tuning in and turning on their new Fujisawa plant. Complete with its own test track and equipped with full research, development, and production capabilities, Isuzu's Fujisawa plant is Japan's premier production facility to date. More important, it gives Isuzu greatly expanded capabilities, capabilities that will prove very significant in the decade to come. With the onset of the 70s comes the realization that the world is getting smaller. Americans are made aware how the events in faraway places can alter their day-to-day -day existence. There are some positive aspects to our shrinking planet, however, that become apparent in 1971, when General Motors buys a 37.5% stake in Isuzu 
and the two companies sign an agreement to jointly market and develop automobiles for the United States. The first fruits of this venture are Buick's Opel by Isuzu and the Chevy Love or light utility vehicle. In 1975, the Love is recognized for being number one in fuel economy by the EPA. By 1978, the Love is the best-selling compact truck in the U.S. In 1979, a 4x4 diesel Love is introduced, a first in its class. This same year, the Isuzu-built Chevy Love is selected as Motor Trend's Truck of the Year, and Four Wheeler Magazine names Love 4x4 Four Wheeler of the Year, calling the truck a milestone in engineering that may revolutionize the four-wheel drive market. This important first step is a harbinger of future success for Isuzu in the U.S. and future wins in races like the Baja 500, Baja 1000, and Wind Safari. The 70s will also see Isuzu become the first manufacturer to import American-made Chevrolets to Japan. Caprice, Malibu, and Camaro are among Isuzu's import lineup. Disco is out. Yuppies are in. And while Ronald Reagan is sworn in as the 40th president, all of America wants to know who shot J.R. By now, Isuzu is producing a greater variety of products than any other Japanese manufacturer. From four major facilities in Japan, over 200 different types of engines, vehicles, and equipment are being produced, with a combined total unit output of almost 2.5 million per year, reaching markets in over 100 countries worldwide. Six, five, four, we've gone for maiden... While NASA launches the Space Shuttle Columbia on its maiden voyage, and IBM launches its first personal computer, Isuzu launches AMI, American Isuzu Motors Incorporated headquartered in Southern California. For the first time, Isuzu products will be sold in the U.S. under the Isuzu name. Amy immediately establishes seven regional offices and a dealer network across the United States. By decade's end, there will be 600 Isuzu dealerships nationwide. Isuzu enters the U.S. marketplace with the iMark, a sporty front-wheel drive subcompact, and the Pup pickup truck. These two vehicles are instantly successful and become the fastest selling new imports in U.S. automotive history. In order to introduce these new products to the American people, an innovative and attention-grabbing ad campaign is launched. A campaign that will soon have the name Isuzu on the lips of nearly every American consumer. And Isuzu dealers have millions in stock. So they're selling them for $9. And if you come in tomorrow, you'll get a free house. You have my word on it. The only thing more innovative than Isuzu's marketing is the ultra-modern facility where the iMark is manufactured. This plant at Hokkaido, Japan, is the first of its kind in advanced manufacturing technology. Here, Computer-driven robotics do everything from loading the automated warehouse, to machining engine parts, to keeping the environment laboratory clean. In areas where human skill is necessary, Isuzu technicians apply the finishing touches with craftsmanlike skill. Other technical firsts here include Hokkaido's fully automated testing facility, where engines are thoroughly evaluated using Isuzu's first-of-its-kind technology. This same technology will later be adopted by other car manufacturers. In 1984, the countries of the world gather in Los Angeles to show off their best athletes. At the same time, Isuzu introduces to America its newest athlete, the Trooper. Trooper takes the country by storm and redefines the sport utility category. In its first year in America, Trooper becomes an on and off road sensation and is named 4x4 of the Year by Four Wheel and Off-Road Magazine. Trooper will justify these accolades by becoming America's best-selling import sport utility vehicle of all time. By 1985, America wants its MTV, and along with it, a sleek new sports car from Isuzu called the Impulse. Designed by the renowned Giugiaro of Italy and further refined using advanced computer analysis, the Impulse is a prime example of Isuzu's leading-edge technology. Impulse also introduces to the American public 
such innovations as iTech, Isuzu's total electronic control. This system automatically adjusts the ignition and fuel mixture as driving conditions change. Also in 1985, the Isuzu Technical Center of America opens in Cerritos, California. For the first time, Isuzu vehicles will be designed and engineered by Americans for Americans. Such notable models will include Amigo, Rodeo, and the second generation Trooper. In 1988, Americans are asking the questions, who framed Roger Rabbit and who is Dan Quayle? In this same year, Isuzu surpasses Mercedes-Benz as the number one medium and heavy-duty truck manufacturer in the world. And it's no wonder these trucks are so popular. They're as tough as China's Taklamakan Desert where they're tested. Taklamakan means desert of quiet death. Here, ground temperatures can reach 160 degrees. That's hot enough to cook eggs, but no sweat for Isuzu's tough trucks. This year, Isuzu also introduces its Handling by Lotus package on the iMark and Impulse. This high-performance suspension is designed for Isuzu by Lotus, the British company renowned for its racing heritage. Turnabout is fair play, and so Lotus will use the same 16-valve dual overhead cam engine found in the Impulse in its $39,000 Elan sports car. The end of the decade is a time of unexplained phenomena and remarkable firsts. While the Soviet Union is experiencing its first general elections in over 70 years, Isuzu is celebrating its 75th anniversary by opening the Subaru Isuzu Automotive Manufacturing Facility. This U.S. production plant is opened as a joint venture between Isuzu and Fuji Heavy Industries in Lafayette, Indiana. Designed with the most up-to-date equipment, SIA is the pinnacle of efficiency and automation. Upon completion, it will produce 60,000 pickups and 60,000 rodeos annually and provide jobs to nearly 2,000 American workers. 1989 is also the year that Isuzu introduces America to the Amigo. This rugged, compact sport utility vehicle immediately makes friends with the American public and the automotive press. With the introduction of the Amigo and the opening of the SIA facility, Isuzu is now ready to tackle the challenges of the 90s. The world is changing at a startling pace. The 90s will see the fall of communism, global economic challenges, and the uncertainty of a new millennium fast approaching. It is appropriate that Isuzu begins this decade with a redesigned logo one that reveals its philosophy about its place in the world. The ellipse represents forward motion and Isuzu's dedication to constant progress. The twin pillars represent Isuzu growing in harmony with its customers and with society. And the color red symbolizes the sun's flame and Isuzu employees' burning desire for progress. Nowhere is this philosophy more apparent than in Isuzu's ceramic engine program, a program that responds to society's need for cleaner, more efficient transportation. This revolutionary new concept in engine manufacturing will change the automotive industry in the 21st century. Thanks to the superior heat resistance and insulating properties of modern ceramics, Isuzu is able to incorporate these materials to manufacture an engine that requires no cooling system, is 30% more fuel efficient, and produces 30% more power than conventional metal engines. With the development of ceramic engine technology, Isuzu emerges as the automotive leader in the race to meet our changing world's growing needs. For many, this is a time of uncertainty. But for Isuzu, the decade of the 90s is off to a roaring start. With new model introductions like the Stylus, a sporty sedan that shows how much fun a sensible car can be, and the Rodeo, an addition that makes Isuzu the import sport utility specialist, Isuzu is now positioned to take advantage of consumer demands like never before. And within two years of its introduction, Rodeo will be the best-selling import brand sport utility vehicle in the United States.
This decade will also see bold and exciting new advertising campaigns worldwide that will help propel Isuzu to unprecedented heights. The new Isuzu Trooper right on time. has been completely redesigned to include a new suspension system. Honey, bottle. I see it. Making for a smooth, quiet ride on the road as well as off. They say our personality traits are formed at an early age. Presenting the 3.1 liter V6 Rodeo from Isuzu. A dragon with no ears, a dog, a snake, a sh the new Isuzu Trooper has been completely redesigned to include a sunroof as large as a child's imagination. Angels. Isuzu's success in the 90s is based on the understanding that quality products can only be produced by quality people. That is why Isuzu is dedicated to hiring and keeping the best people in the industry. From manufacturing to sales, all Isuzu personnel receive regular training and support. Which of these 1992 Trooper performance features is available on both the S and the LS? The correct answer this time is number four. Yeah. There you go. We have a split seat here, a 60-40 seat. So if you're carrying additional passengers... They know that the future is bright for the first car builders of Japan, a company that has consistently pushed the industry forward meeting the needs of the world with new ideas and technologies. And Isuzu will continue to press onward, building on its past to create a better future for its customers and its employees. Looking back over the quickly passing century, we can see how much the world has changed and how much Isuzu has changed with it. From ceramic engine technology to trend-setting vehicles like Trooper, Rodeo, and the N-Series truck, all the way back to the plans for that first two-cylinder automobile in 1910, Isuzu can look to its earliest beginnings with a strong sense of achievement. With this legacy of success to build on, Isuzu will continue to move forward into the 21st century, meeting the challenges of tomorrow and growing in harmony with its customers and with society.